Full Function TV. I'm Dr. Joe, President and Lead Chiropractor here at Full Function Rehab here in uh, Woodbridge, Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, here I'm sitting with uh, Chris. Chris, he is uh, the hearing specialist from Great to Hear. It's an award-winning hearing clinic here in uh, Vaughan. Chris, thanks for, uh, for joining us and coming on our show today. Hey, thanks for having me, Joe. Yeah, no I appreciate problem. it. No problem. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Chris? Uh, well, um, we are an award-winning hearing clinic here in Vaughan. And what we do is hearing tests on a daily basis. We help people who have any hearing troubles and conduct a free hearing tests, a consultation and demonstration if ever needed. Nice, nice. So what got you into this field? Like how did you get started in this? Uh, my grandfather is a World War II veteran, Joe, and before I was born and now he's had a profound hearing loss his whole life. And it was, it still is very difficult to have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so me and my father, we were talking uh, around 10 years ago and we came across this profession. Uh, so, you know, I, I Googled and I did some research about it. And ever since then, uh, I've been a hearing specialist and uh, pretty much trying to help uh, people hear better so they don't have to go through what I've been going through with my grandfather, trying to help them hear better. Oh, that's great. That's great, you're doing your part. Uh, pretty much, I'm doing my part. Yeah, it's, uh, he's actually got a profound hearing loss, so it's, uh, it's very, very difficult for him to hear. Um, so, you know, we don't really see people with that type of hearing loss, which makes my job a lot easier. Yeah, that's nice, <laughs> yes. that's nice. So break it down for us. How do you assess people? What do you do? How do you diagnose them? So basically, uh, we provide people with free hearing tests and free consultations. Um, when somebody comes in, they can be uh, a walk-in. There's no doctor referral needed. Or if uh, the doctor does refer somebody, uh, you come in, we book an appointment, and the first thing we do is uh, we offer you an espresso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we, good. it's good, you know, us Italians, and uh, we, uh, we then uh, do the hearing test. And after the test, I thoroughly explain the audiogram and if they do have normal hearing or if they do have a hearing loss we will provide them with a free demo demonstration uh, of our of our products one that will best suit or fit their needs and basically uh just you know go over any questions they have it's it's uh, it's very easy to be honest it's 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 an easy process well that's great so yeah. someone comes in they have a diagnosed hearing loss uh, what type of products do you provide them to help them hear and uh, relate to their family better and uh, just be part of conversations? So sometimes I uh, offer to rent my cell phone so I can help them hear. <laughs> uh, no, it would be easy because they tell me I have a, a, a loud voice so it's very easy to understand my voice. But uh, I tell them it's important that they, well obviously they have to hear their family and friends. So in the hearing world and in our profession, there are different types of amplification. There's ones that are very, very small, it's 2018. They go behind the ear, very, very small. They actually connect to smartphone. Oh, wow. They will actually now measure your uh, heartbeat, uh, your steps. So they're like uh, the Fitbits, but now in your ear. In your ear, wow. Yeah, they can take your uh, body temperature and all that good stuff. And for those that aren't tech savvy, we have just regular small ones that go behind with a small remote and they'll help with your uh, degree of hearing loss and amplify whatever is missing. And then we have the James Bond type of uh, amplification hearing device that is uh, naked to the eye and it's very small. It goes completely inside one's ear canal. And uh, th that's a, quite the popular one, one of yeah. those ones. If, if I had to go with one, I'd probably go with one of those. Uh, yeah. Like James Bond. So if mm -hmm. I can mimic him in any way, might as well. Oh yeah, we got some pretty neat stuff, but I always tell people, and it's important to get the message across, because people, you know, they, they think there's a stigma still, and there is no stigma anymore. In 2018, you see uh, my, our generations, they're wearing, hearing uh, uh, music devices uh, all the time. Actually, it's, uh, you see it everywhere you go. So I tell my clients, it doesn't matter if you get the one inside your ear, the one that goes behind your ear. What's important is they don't, what's more noticeable is hearing loss. Right, we tell them, you know, that's what's mostly noticeable is hearing loss. 
you know? So it's important to get that message across yeah, sure. as best as possible. For sure. So if someone's noticing any ringing or humming or uh, not hearing as well, um, do they consult their doctor or they just book, a, book an appointment with you and, and get a free test done? What's, what's the best strategy for people if they have family members or even themselves noticing some hearing changes? So it is important to go see a hearing professional. Uh, when someone has ringing or humming, we, we, we coined the term tinnitus. It's, it's the medical term is called tinnitus. It could be a swishing sound or ringing sounds. Um, you know, the first thing I would really recommend to people, and this is just personally what I, I suggest is don't Google and become a hypochondriac. When you start Googling things and, and seeing online, uh, it's, it's good to have some sort of knowledge of, of other people giving advice. But most importantly, go see a professional first. Before you start going down this, this road, this route, go see a, a, a hearing healthcare professional. And if someone comes into our clinic, what we do is for one, it's not something where you're ever going to, uh, you're not, you're not going to die from it. Yeah. I like to tell them that first because yeah. they don't know what they're getting, all oh, ringing in the ears and, What's and happening. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes they, they relate it to like a movie scene when a bomb goes off and, and that ringing and it's like everything's distorted and out of balance. So I tell, I tell them, guys, no, no matter what, you're fine first. Like you're not going to die from this. And then we do a hearing test and, and to see uh, if they have any uh, hearing loss and if they have normal hearing because people that have tinnitus could have normal hearing yeah. and we don't actually know where it comes from could be stress it could be uh, caffeine could be alcohol smoking's one of them um, hearing loss we go over a lifestyle um, Q&A kind of thing and from there we have a, a couple of products that could help relieve whatever sound or noise or uh, that is bothering them right. so we try we try to do that as best oh, as good. possible. It's a hard one though. Tinnitus is a hard thing to, it's a lot of counseling is involved with that. Yeah, it's a lot of education. People coming in with, with complaints, you have to diagnose them, educate them properly, offer them good quality options. In 2000, you're right, Joe. And in, in 2018, I have a saying, you know, ignorance is no longer bliss with the internet. Um, there's types of hearing loss, right? Uh, physical damage to the ear. Uh, born genetics with hearing loss, um, and then there's noise-induced hearing loss. And that's one of the types of hearing loss uh, that could be prevented. Mm -hmm. Okay, so back in the day, okay, we didn't have uh, the internet or information out there that was easy, um, to have easy access to find what the causes of hearing loss is in loud environments. Well, now we do, right, on the internet. We have all this information. So. I like to inform the future generation uh, that that are you know listening to their headphones, Beats by Dre all the time, and we we educate the parents to let them know where a comfort level is that won't cause any hearing loss damage yeah. or ringing in the ears tinnitus. And, and we like to go to high schools to educate the children in a cool way because you know even when we were younger, I'm sure we can all agree that we had our uh, windows down yeah. and the music up or you know we came home and we didn't want to talk to anybody and we had the earbuds in and listening to music. Well, it's fine, you could do that just knowing what the comfort level is level. so that you don't have to come see me for a hearing aid device <laughs> or we have to talk about tinnitus yeah. like a lot of rock and roll uh, clients that we have uh, that went to a lot of concerts or construction workers they have that. So we want to prevent those clients in the future by educating them about this type of information. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, it sounds like you're very big on education. Um, where can people learn more about you? Do you have a website? I know you're active on social media. Um, what do you use? How can they get a hold of you if they wanted to reach out and book a, book a consult? Right now, uh, we're working on an app uh, called Calling All Ears. Okay, what it is, it's going to be a sound level meter. Number one, I would highly recommend everybody having this on your phone. It's a sound level meter. What a sound level meter is, is basically it's in the name. The definition of it is it records sound wherever you are. So at least knowing, knowledge is the most important form of information and of wealth. So if, if you are in a loud environment, you can use this app to see where the volume level is mm -hmm. and then in the app we're gonna have uh, the chart from the Ontario government that shows the uh, levels of exposure 
uh, the, the, the noise levels of exposure and how many hours a day uh, that is being suggested by the Ontario um, government uh, uh, to be allowed to work or be around a, an environment like that. So anything over 85 decibels is damaging to one's hearing. Um, they say if it's at 100, it's about 30 minutes. Okay? So construction, it goes sometimes uh, in 90s, and that's about like two hours. And a lot of people don't know that, and they're working eight to 10 hour days. So that's one way, calling all ears the app. But most importantly, besides uh, social media, Facebook, we're on there, uh, Instagram, we're starting, uh, Google. But most importantly, www.greattohear.ca. That's www.greattohear.ca. In my profession, I'm used to repeating myself. Uh, <laughs> one more time. One more, one more time. time. <laughs> greattohear.ca. Um, you can find all our information there. We got educational videos. We got product knowledge and an about page. I work with two wonderful ladies named Ida and Clara. They're the owners of the clinic. Uh, they're sweethearts. They're equally as passionate. I'm very passionate. They're equally as passionate about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis and we find that the biggest reward in life for doing this for X amount of years is helping people hear and not look on someone's face when they can hear again or hear their wife or their spouse or their children or their teacher because we got all walks of life, ages. Um, it's very rewarding for us and you know, um, yeah, sorry, I could keep going. I'm very passionate, sorry, Joe, I can oh, that, go on. That's great, that's great. Yeah. Your passion is definitely evident and uh, I'm sure your patients are definitely pleased with the services you offer. But uh, a little bit off topic, and sure. uh, just trying to get a little bit more about you. If, uh, if you could go anywhere in the world, Chris, where would you go and, and why would you go there? All right, so I, I, like, to, uh, I like to be a globe trotter. I've, I've been to Iceland recently. Um, if I can go anywhere in the world right now, I'd have to say, huh, it's a good question. Do I, do I have to bring my wife? Uh, like, <laughs> and then it's, uh, with, no, for myself, if I can go anywhere in the world right now, I'd like to go to China. I'd really like to go to China. Experience the culture. I experience the culture, experience the professional side of, uh, of business. Mm -hmm. As you know, a lot of things come from China. Um, Cantonese Mandarin, it's, it's going to be one of the biggest languages in Canada if it isn't already the worldwide. biggest coming up worldwide. Yeah. I like to learn, uh, I know how to say some, 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 some words, I'm, I'm learning, <laughs> but it would be China, Joe. I like to go to China and experience the Great Wall, the culture, um, the temples, and you know the people. I love the food, and uh, I love the Bruce Lee movies and that nice. kind of thing, nice. so classic. that's a classic. classic, classic, classic stuff, so that's where I'd like to travel. There you go, that's yeah. good, that's good. Well, there you have it, now you know a little bit more about Chris. Uh, he's big on education as far, as far as hearing goes. He wants to become a world traveler soon, going to uh, Asia and China. Um, thanks for tuning in to our Full Function TV episode uh, from Dr. Joe and Chris. Uh, take care and uh, see you later.